Tire buddy. All right, so I got tired of trying to juggle all of the things that I have left to do on this plane in my head. All right, my head is already a seething cauldron of, well, who knows what it is. But what it doesn't really want to do is try to keep all this crap in my head. So I thought, you know, I got these wonderful vinyl squares that I still haven't taken off the top of my left wing. I'm going to use those as the checklist of all the crap that I've got left to do before I can call this plane remotely done. Well, let's just say done, done. So yeah, each time I complete one of those squares, I'm going to rip it off. And hopefully, that means there will be no squares soon. So In this video, we're going to do several things. We've got some, uh, some more wing wiring to do. We're going to fill around with the trim just a little bit. Uh, we're going to tackle that more in another video. Uh, but what the, uh, the main concern is going to be the final rigging of the ailerons. Uh, you might ask, well, didn't you already rig the ailerons before? Yes, I did. And as I was explaining, I had done it completely wrong because I'm an utter buffoon. So in the RV-14, the control stick attaches to a piece of hex stock, which attaches to a control arm, which translates that movement to the push rod, which then goes to a bell crank, bell crank goes to another push rod, push rod actuates the, the ailerons, right? Well, the control arm that translates the stick movement to the bell, uh, to the push rod movement, um, it's, it's specific for each wing. There's a left and a right, because it's not... It's not a one-to-one -one thing. Well, I say it, it technically is a one-to-one -one thing, but it's offset by like 13 degrees. The little control arm has two arms on it, and they're offset by 13 degrees. And which wing they go on is important. Now, previously, I'd, as, I'd, as I'd told you, I put the wings on, the control arms are on, and I'm sitting there staring at the plans, which show the control arms on the wings, and I'm looking at my wings, and I'm thinking, oh, yeah, those are correct. They weren't. Again, buffoon. So we're switching the <laughs> control arms around and and having to re-rig. What, what happened was, right, Vance tells you exactly how long to make all the push rods, all the hex stock, etc. Et I mean, it's it's a guide because, you know, no, no two people's plane is the same. So, you know, it's always going to be a little bit different, but not by as much as I thought. So what happened was I put the control arms on wrong wings. All right, so fast forward to me re-rigging, or re, me rigging the ailerons. None of the control arms were long enough. I'm like, this is weird. Vans told me to make this thing 14 inches, yet I have to expand it out to like 14 and a half. I have to expand this uh, push rod out almost as far as the, uh, the end caps will go. Now, in the end, I was able to actually do the rigging, right? So the rigging actually was complete, and I'm like, that just seems weird. So I took another look at it, and again, I realized I was completely wrong, so... Yep, switch them around, like the doofus that I am, and then everything was perfectly fine. Of course, now I have to go back and re-rig everything. Which is, which is ridiculous. Uh, happy Mother's Day. For those of you that uh, still have your moms, celebrate them. My mom died about six years ago, and it was uh, so did my wife's. It sucks, but you know that's that's life. And every day I remember her, and she's one of the reasons I'm the happy man that I am now. So hopefully you still get to celebrate with your mom. Besides that, no new updates. Um, back from the training. I'm rescheduled to go back up next month. I'm going to go back up for a weekend in June uh, to just to make up a few more hours. Technically, I have enough hours to satisfy my insurance requirements, but ain't no way in hell I'm only going up with 2.2 hours. I mean, I, I, oof, that would be way too nerve-wracking. So, no, no, no. I'm going to go back and get a bunch more hours that I can. So, yeah. Now, here's the nice thing about rigging ailerons, as I described before. Right. As long as you've got the two jigs that Vans uses, the last push rod that actually actuates the ailerons should not change at all. The only thing that I really have to do is go and shorten up the big push rods and the hex stock piece that goes from the control arm to the control stick. That's it. Uh, 
But even that, just getting that to be square, still takes up a couple hours. Just to get it right, so. <clears throat> Alright, next video we should be getting to the aileron trim, I think. So, have a good Sunday, everyone. Thank you for joining me. See you soon.